Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Valentine's Day. We're doing 2019-2020 Panini Donner's Optic Basketball Blaster Edition. It's a 10 box, half case, half blaster case break. Random team break number three. One spot gets you two teams in this half case break. Big thanks to these folks for getting to the action. Let's double you up like Sir Mix-a-Lot. Uh, double up. Uh, uh. All 30 teams are in. There you go. And let's roll it and randomize it. Four and a six, ten times. All right, Squid. Have a good night, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten, we've got John Zadaro all the way down to Marco Mills. Four and a six, ten times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten, we've got the Atlanta Hawks down to the Sacramento Kings. And we've got the Rising Stars game on in the background on TNT. All right, so John, you have the Atlanta Hawks. Eric Wyant, one of your last bought Mojo teams, the Phoenix Suns. Your other one, Cleveland Cavaliers. John with the Knicks, Marco with the Heat, Josh with the Pelicans, Jared with the Nuggets, Ricky with the Rockets, Scott with the Bulls, Josh with the Raptors, John with the T-Wolves, Ricky with the Jazz, Quinton with the Pacers and the Pistons, Scott with the Hornets, Seth with, with the Mavs, Eric with the Blazers, Steven with, the, with my Lakers, nice. John Ryder with the Orlando Magic, Seth, Brooklyn Nets, Scott with the Grizz, nice. Andy with the Bucks, John with the Celtics, Clippers for Steven, Scott with the Wizards, OKC for Eric, John with the Spurs, Andy with the Sixers, Jared with the Warriors, and Marco with the Sacramento Kings. Sort by column B. And while you're thinking about trades, let's pop open this fresh case and let's see which side we're gonna do here. This over this way right here, you see the boxes. Maybe Knicks for Heat. Let's try to organize some of these boxes here. So this stack right here, which you can see on the top camera as well, two, four, six, eight, ten. And there's two, four, six, eight, ten in the back right there. So we'll roll the die right there on the left side. Uh, it'll be one, two, three, and for the right ten, four, five, six. And it's going to be six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. We'll do this side right here. This side we will save for next time, which is going to be coming up uh, after this. After this. After this. Schedule's in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll, I'm not going to mark those, but we'll leave those individual boxes right there so you know that they're from the same case. All right, I'll show you the list again. I'm going to pause the video, allow people to think about some trades, and then when we come back, we'll have the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. A little bit of trade chatter, but at the end, no deals were done. So here it is. Blaster number three. Thanks to everybody who got into the action. There's the final printout, same as what you saw on the previous screen. Got Rising Stars game happening right now. The U.S. up 16 to 14. All right, so let's pop a handful of these boxes open at a time. And All 
Get these going. Who does everyone have for their M MVP of this Rising Stars game? I was like I was saying when there were, when the trade window was happening, I went with long longer shots, long shots, just to just to add a little spice to it, um, just like entertainment purposes only, scratcher money. SGA, twelve to one. Jaron Jackson Jr. fourteen to one. That might not be a bad play. Devonte Graham twenty to one. And the longest of shots, Nikhil Alexander Walker. I went with the cousins. Shea and Nikhil are cousins. Went, went with that. Plus uh, 40, uh, plus 4,000, 40 to 1. Oh, does Luca play in both? So he's in the. I wondered how that works. So he gets to play in the Rising Stars game and. Nice move, SGA. Um, so he could have said no to the rookie game, but he's still doing it. All right, good man. All right, there's Lori Markin in blue. Nice move by Shea Gilgis Alexander. It's one of my MVP picks. We got Matisse Tybel, rated rookie, hollow. Theoden's got Trey for easy shots, but SGA for the more difficult shot. That, that could that could be the difference between MVP if that's if all things are somewhat similar. Andy with the Sixers. Electros want to buy three spots in optic, but you don't know. Yeah, you don't have to buy all three, one or two. I read this a long time ago. I don't know how old I was. I hope someday I will be on a real football team. Like and there's Seku Demboya, a couple nice hollows right here. Rated rookie hollow for the Pistons. That'll be for Quentin Carter. His value's been increasing here. All right, next couple right here. Is that true? Raiders are offering Tom Brady $60 million? According to who? Some kid on Twitter? According, according to unnamed, random unnamed sources? I mean, if I'm Tom Brady, I, maybe I would. Why go, why go to the Raiders? I don't know. I don't know if it, I don't know if it makes sense for him. Raiders will sell out already. There is, there, there's so much like Raiders fandom out there. They're not going to have a have a problem selling out that stadium. I don't know if I don't know how many Raiders fans want Brady jerseys after the Tuck Rule game. I don't know. Well, <laughs> Al Davis said it. If you're, Al Davis said, "If you're not, if you're not cheating, you're not trying." Um, no, I, 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 I can't see it. like who's. Yeah, Sean saying it's not a verified account. No, I'll wait till we get more verified reports on this. TMZ reported it. Oh well, then it must be true. <laughs> Doing a Vegas show. And Giselle's gonna do a Vegas show. The rest of the Victoria's Secret Angels. Greg thinks Derek Carr is better than Brady. Derek Carr now is better than Brady now. I mean, maybe. I don't know. The numbers might say that. The numbers might bear that out. It's Hachimura. Yo, we got a tire. What do we got? We got fire. Uh oh. We got, we got customers rolling fire. What do we got? Rookie? What did you guys buy? Oh, you bought the old. Wow. That is strong, Quinn. 
That is strong. Some kid, one of our regular in-store customers here picked up a box of old Topps Chrome Baseball, Aaron Judge's rookie year. Aaron Judge rookie auto. There's Hachimura, Scott with the Wizards. That is strong. Ooh, a couple John ja Morants. We got a John ja Morant hollow and a John ja Morant base rated rookie card. Memphis Grizzlies, Scott. There you go, Scott. There you go, Scott. I'm sure your break is covered. <laughs> I haven't seen her in a while, Sean. He, she might be a... More of an afternoon, early morning customer. I don't see those. I don't see those people. Uh, I don't know. No one's told me who the source is on this Brady story. I know we're in a basketball break. Sorry. But Aaron wants to change the conversation. Yeah, that jaw hollow. Is it $500 right now? There you go. You, you might be able to buy the Grizzly straight up in a hobby pick your team with that, Scott. Oh, I forgot to play NBA pick em, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe I can play it for the regular game. Get it graded. No, it's all good, trendsetter. But no, where's the? Who's the source? Who said that this actually happened? Is it was it really TMZ? The boss man saying? Well, no, no. I mean, we can't untalk about it now. It's already out there. It'll be a weird video if people watch this and they're like, "Well, what happened?" <laughs> Gio, yeah, I know. These these rising star lineups are pretty crazy. It's good for the hobby, good for the league. Here's Kristaps Porzingis. Anthony Davis. Donovan Mitchell. Kevin Porter Jr. <laughs> Nasir Little, rated rookie hollow for Eric Wine and the Trailblazers. All right, we got four more boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that could have been an SGA assist. All right, all right. The world is up 39-30 on the U.S. I'm on the U.S. They got to they got to turn it up. No, no, no Rogers auto for Logan. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Uh, Greg's got Brady odds for us. Raiders at plus 300, Chargers at plus 300, Titans plus 700, Colts plus 900, Panthers 1200, Cowboys plus 1400, Dolphins plus 1400. Bucks plus 14, and this is with no pats. Bears plus 1,600, and Saints plus 1,600. Hmm.
I think there could be some value in taking the taking the Cowboys at fourteen to one. Zion Williamson, base. Going to Josh Proust and the Pelicans. That'll cover some spots, Josh. They are, Blackout. I, I, I took the Cousins as my MVP picks for this Rising Stars game. SGA and uh, Nikhil Alexander-Walker. I think they played together in high school and probably dominated that... That league. It's Kawhi Hollow. Up in Toronto, I think. They're, they're, they're born in Toronto. Dwight Powell and Goga at the end. All right, and the next one. That still doesn't tell me anything, Aaron. The Las Vegas Raiders have been rumored to be interested in tying Tom Brady for months now after Brady was spotted speaking to owner Mark Davis at a recent UFC event in Vegas. But that's just rumor. That's just. I mean, I could report that. That's that. That's as good as me me saying that. It's like, oh, Mark Davis and Tom Brady hanging out. Jaspie's news reports Mark Davis, Tom Brady hanging out at the UFC event. Could sign Brady. But I mean, I need. I mean, who reported that, Aaron? I need to know sources. Listen, I got a journalism background. And I just, I just don't take every little paragraph and and turn it into a actual story. A lot of it's just conjecture, just rumors, just. But it doesn't really mean anything. If we read between the lines. I need sources. Who's the source? Where do they get their source? Is it an unnamed source? Sources inside. Sources close to Brady? I mean, I don't believe that kind of stuff. Let's have people put their names on it. Zamari Carroll. And they say sources in the Raiders front office. I mean, who is that? The janitor who's inside the Raiders front office could be anybody. The intern? That could be a source inside the Raiders front office. All right, last couple boxes here. Logan says, here and now he'll never leave the Pats. That's that. Done. That's according to the Logan News Network. And Clint Capella and R.J. Barrett at the end for the Knicks. John Sodaro with that one. And there you go. There you go, everybody. That was Half Case Blaster number three, 2019-2020 Panini Donners Optic Basketball. Larry Fitzgerald Sr. reported it. Remember how when Larry Fitzgerald Jr. goofed on his dad in the locker room? Go look up that video. It's really funny. All right, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was break number three, break number four coming up next. Thanks for watching. This is Joe. I'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com.